G'day guys and welcome to another episode. Well this evening we're up at Caloundra on the Sunshine Coast and we're hoping to catch a few whiting. We've got the last of the run out tide at the moment so we're going to fish that now with the northeasterly behind us and when the tide starts to make its way back up into the passage we'll move down a little bit so we've got wind and tide running in the same direction. We're using live blood worms for bait again in this episode and I reckon there's nothing better for a fresh feed of whiting than those live blood worms. My mate Chris here behind me, he's just caught the first fish for the night, which didn't take too long. So fingers crossed, that's a sign of things to come. I think there was a fish just sitting on that, I've, eh? I've, I've, that's what I said, I would, it's hard to tell with your lines because they were, with the way the boat's drifted, they were sort of both sitting there so loose. Because on that bank the tide's running, but because we're in this little bay here, it's yeah. just sort of still water, yeah. eh? Yeah, yeah that's it's definitely good. a whiting the way it's diving. Fish too. Keeper, sure. Definitely a keeper. Oh, that's not a bad start, two fish in. Two fish, fish in five, five minutes. Bay. There's nothing wrong if they suck the bait down by themselves, eh? They don't have to hook them. Oh, it's just funny that they're sitting on it, like, without even... Being super aggressive on it. Yeah. I did not know how to fish that. I just had a tiny bite on that other rod of mine. Like, the first one I got even was, like, picky-picky sort of bite. That first one I got, I didn't even know you were sitting on. Well, yeah, so yeah, that, just pick up I don't that know rod. how long that one I just got had been holding that mate. I hadn't touched that one for ages. There you go, same thing again. He's on it. Oh, that's yep, that'll do us. That's not legal, surely. Yeah, that's legal, dude. That's really? like, that's 25. Absolutely. Fuck. Yeah, it probably is actually. Jeez, that looks good. See, how's that for accuracy? 25. Nice. Millimetre perfect. Not, not legal, please. <laughs> Bites on both? I'm not sure I've got a bite on this one. Lost my bait. Yeah, I lost my bait. Did you lose your bait? Yep. I reckon there'd be some big warding in this bay, hey? You go. Thought you were going to take my hat off then. We started the afternoon off in about two metres of water, casting up into about 600 millimetres of water, but it's just on dark now, so I'm actually going to pull the anchor and drift in closer to the bank that we've been casting up onto because as, as the as nightfall comes those fish are going to be pushing up into you know anything from 200 millimeters of water so we'll get a little bit closer to that bank and see how we go we've had a good start we've got about seven fish in the ice bag already so fingers crossed good session tonight Oh, there's the bank. Thank you. 
Yeah, they are red and brown. Yep. Oh man, that's shallow. Yeah. Just um, just pull in a little bit of anchor rope. Oh, this is a good fish, eh? Oh, you're actually here, right? Yeah. The anchor hadn't even really pulled tight yet, and within about 10 seconds, my rod is gone. This feels like a great fish. Maybe just grab that net, Chris. Oh, he's not that big, dude. I'll swing him in. Oh yeah, he took off, eh? Maybe they'll really fire up now it's got dark, so. Didn't cast that out real far, eh, that one? Sort of right there. I'm pretty happy with the average size tonight, eh? They're all good. Back. No, they're all good legal fish. I don't think we've thrown a whiting back yet. No. Another one about 26, 27. Are you casting one out the side, one out the back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. get them spread out, eh? Good fish. Yeah. Took a bit of a run, didn't he, that first yeah. sort of lunge. Who's that net? Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Oh, I got one on my rod too. Still feel good? Yeah. Yep, I'm on. Tell me if you want me to net him. He, he might be a good fish, dude. Granta. Not a bad one either. Well done, bro. Good fish. Spines, do they? Yeah, they got gill rakes on them, oh, those grunner, yeah, just be careful. The hook come out. No, it's too late. See, um... Oh, he's just, he just cut me off with the gill rake, the hook's still in. See his gill rake there? Oh, oh yeah, shit. So it's really serrated and they've got a little sharp one. Yeah, okay. I meant more just... Yep. So far they all seem to be about that 27 centimetres, eh? Mm. 
Oh, I got that one good one, yeah. Still a nice fish. So clean. Feel like a good one? Yeah, mate. Might not be another might not be a whiting again though. Another grunter, you reckon? Yeah, possibly. Take your time with him in case he is a big warning, he'll do a big lunge here at the boat. Did he lunge? Mm -hmm. Might be a warning. Hope it's a warning. Can't see him yet. What just happened? No. Doesn't want to come up. Just take your time with him. You got Grunter. <laughs> Another one that's not a bad source. Same bloody fish. Same fish. Oh yeah. This has got a bit of bit of weight behind it, eh? Oh, I'd like to think it's whiting, but somehow I don't think it is. Probably another grunter. Yeah, you catch the grunter, I'll catch the elbow slappers. Moses perch. A bit of variety. Yeah, no, it's cool. Told me I was getting the ball on that rod. That tide surely is starting to swing the way. Eh? Yeah. Boat's starting to do some funny things as well. Oh, that's a nice whiting. Yeah. I thought he was bigger than that though, eh? Like that final lunge at the boat just took off. Beautiful clean fish, eh? Yep, got him. Feels decent too. I've got a white dragon. Nah, you're, you're on the brim and grunter side. I'm on the whiting side. It's funny how it works like that sometimes. I bet you just jinxed me though, I bet you this isn't a whiting. Nah, it's a whiting. I reckon that's the, the fish of the night yeah, so far too. Thick, yeah. yeah, I can't, I don't think I've got a whiting system, is it? Do you reckon that bank behind us there, do you reckon that's a bit of a guide for when the tide starts to push in? Yeah, probably. Like that was only really two inches or three inches exposed, wasn't yeah. it? It's like you know, sort of sitting watching it, as soon as I start to like, move it, it just bank. Sometimes it's not a bad option, eh, when the tide goes a bit slack just to slowly wind in. Yeah, nice whiting, bro. Well done. It's just
just having a sneaky little wee and my rod's gone so Chris has wound it in. Nice one bro. Is that yours or mine? Mine. Right, I'll de-hook it, eh? If you want it in, I'll de-hook it. No, thanks, boss. We are just talking about when we should move a little bit south of where we are at the moment. What you can see on the old sea breeze app, I don't know if you can see that, but that tide right now, we're smack bang on the bottom, so it's 8 p.m. I reckon we've, we've sort of got to give it another half hour here until we get some decent run-in tide that where that current starts to head south rather than north. Don't think it's a warding? Or oh, just the way it took off? Yeah. Yeah, but it feels like it's a little weight and it's got light. Might be a big warding. Oh, yeah, I can't Hang on, I'll get that net, bro. Ah, big water. It's a cracker, bro. That's an awesome fish. Well done. Oh, nice. <laughs> How lucky was that? Chris just went to lift it out of the net and it, it busted him off. Luckily, that fish is still in the net. Geez, that's a proper elbow slap for that one, eh? Yeah, that is. That'd be a big swipe. Do you reckon that's your PB? Maybe, yeah. I've not caught. Yeah, that's a hell of a nice fish, dude. 38, nice fish, bro. Yeah, well done, bro. That's awesome. Just getting a bite on that rod now. Literally just cast it out, eh? Fresh bait. Yep, there we go. It's got a bit of size about it. Oh, took off. I hope it's the brother of the one that you just caught. Little brother. No, big brother. Yeah, you were right. Oh, little brother. Little brother's tangled him out the line, though. That's all right. I'm happy to take little brother. Off, eh? Just had an awesome hit on this rod. This fish has taken about 20 metres of line straight up, so I'm thinking it's a little bit bigger than a whiting. Although I'll happily be proven wrong. Another grunter, eh? Yeah, he's decent. Probably a little bit bigger than the last grunter we caught. Oh, he's solid, yeah. They got beautiful big fillets on them, eh? Got to be 30 centimeters east, Grunner. He's about 31. He'll be coming home for a feed. That's a whiting. Real timid bite this one, eh? Yeah. Not a bad fish either. So clean here, eh? It's amazing. Oh, 
Okay, so the spot we've been fishing's now gone a little bit quiet, so the tide's now making its way in. We've still got a pretty stiff northeasterly behind us, so we're gonna move a little bit south down towards Golden Beach. We marked a couple of spots on our way out, so fingers crossed, they're just as good as where we've been fishing so far. It's pretty shallow through here, right? That's the bank right there. Thank God for GPS systems, eh? And a bloke up the front of the boat with a torch. All right, we've been at the new spot for all of about five minutes and we are on. It's got you, we've got tangles. The current and the wind sort of aren't quite playing the game yet, but I don't think we'll be too far off getting the current that we want. Oh, it's a nice whiting. You know what, might actually net that one, dude. Yep. Oh yeah, oh, a hole in the net. Double How lucky was that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a hole in that net, he slipped through the hole in the net. How's that? I reckon I got lucky then. That's a good fish, bro. Yeah, that's it. That's an elbow slapper. I reckon that might have me done. Me done. Nah, I don't reckon it's as big as yours. Good fish, bro. I think it's going to be a tie, bro. 38 as well, yeah. 38. Oh, that was a good fish for the first one to spot. It's a good sign for the new spot, isn't it? Pull a fish like that straight up, 38 centimetres. Better fish, you reckon? Oh, it's much huge, definitely lighting. the guy. Nice fish. I threw one into the channel, eh? There's a fish on it. Chris has got the good side. He's fishing in about 300 millimetres of water and I'm casting out into the channel into about three. <laughs> That's true too. No, I reckon he was somewhere in between that big one. Oh, it's another nice fish, dude. Yeah, yeah I'll him. Not as big, but he'd be well over 30. Yeah, your spot's paying off, isn't it? I'm just gonna cast it. Bang it straight back out into the channel. That's the hot spot. There we go, the channel, the old faithful channel, I tell you. 
They're out deep, bro. If this is a whiting, it's a good one. Feel like a whiting? Doesn't not feel like a whiting. Yeah, might get that net, bro. Oh, yeah. Sort of did that big whiting lunge just now, eh? Right? This is where I get nervous. Whiting fishing is like right at the boat when they start to do these big lunges. You sort of just got to be ready to feed the line back to them. <laughs> Fooled us again. Elbow slapping grunter. They fight like a whiting, eh? Thanks, mate. Yeah, it's a warning. It's a nice one. Make that 22. I was just doing the count for the night. Well, there you go, guys. Another great session on the sand whiting. We ended up with a total of 22 fish. Still got a few blood worms left there, so Chris is using up the last of them while I have a bit of a tidy of the boat. If you've been enjoying my content or learning something from it, which I hope you have, please subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you out on the water soon. As so it happens when you put the camera away, someone always hooks a decent fish and Chris has got one on. It's fighting like a whiting, isn't it? Granter. <laughs> Story of the night. Think you got a good whiting on. And catch a granter. Trickery.